Ever rolled against someone who felt like wrestling a brick wall? Or that sneaky octopus who somehow chokes you from impossible angles? Well, your BJJ body type might have more to do with it than you think. But scientifically speaking, is there actually a best body type for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Let's roll into it. First, let's talk about the long and lanky fighters. Those psychic types who seem to predict your every move before it even happens. Think Nate Diaz or Ryan Hall. With their long limbs, techniques like triangle chokes, Darcy chokes, and spider guards seem like second nature. Longer limbs equal longer levers. Physics favors them for submissions involving wrapping and choking. A study published in the Journal of Sports Sciences found that longer limbs provide better leverage and positional advantage in grappling scenarios. So, if you're tall, skinny, and can wrap your limbs around someone twice, <laughs> congrats. You're basically the BJJ equivalent of Mewtwo. Next up, we've got the stocky powerhouses, the fighting types. Think Gordon Ryan or Andre Galvao. These athletes thrive in pressure passing, wrestling style takedowns, and dominating top control. Shorter limbs and compact bodies lower their center of gravity, making balance and base their biggest assets. According to a biomechanics analysis in the European Journal of Sports Science, compact body types excel in explosive movements and sustained pressure positions. If you're built like a tank and pressure pass like a steamroller, your Pokemon match is uh, definitely Machamp. I wonder, is anyone even getting these Pokemon references? I think I'm, uh, I'm now getting old. Ever roll against someone who seems made of rubber? Flexibility can turn a good guard into an unpassable fortress. These are grass types. Meanwhile, rigid, strong structures, the rock types, make guard passing feel like facing an immovable object. Now, flexible players capitalize on elasticity in tendons and ligaments, improving their submission and guard retention capabilities. Rigid players rely on stable musculature to maintain strong positional dominance and resist sweeps or submissions. So, are you more of a Bulbasaur, bending and twisting around attacks, or a Geodude, sturdy and immovable? Both styles have their advantage. No matter your body type, BJJ boils down to mechanics and leverage as well as hard work. Science shows that success comes from understanding your body type and adapting your style to play to your natural strengths. Leverage allows smaller fighters to overcome strength gaps. Mechanical efficiency, knowing the physics of your techniques, can give anyone an edge, regardless of size or shape. Now a quick tip, if you struggle with a technique, ask yourself, is this the best fit for my body mechanics? Adapt or evolve your strategy accordingly. So, what's the best body type for BJJ? Yours, when you're using it right. Now, drop a comment below. Are you a psychic, fighting, grass, or rock type? And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share this video with your teammates so you can debate who's the best Pokemon. I mean, I mean BJJ player in your gym. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. <laughs> and stay dynamic. Peace.